Hi, uh, this is a tutorial from John I Pie. Today I'm going to show you how to make an artificial intelligence enemy that can shoot and follow you around and all that. So it's a long process, so bear with me. First, we're going to want the enemy sprite. It's going to look a lot like the player sprite. I just, I just darkened the helmet to make a difference. Be sure to rotate it a hundred times counterclockwise, just like all the other ones. And that's what we're going to start with for now. And we're going to create the object. Object enemy. And when it's first created, we're going to want to set direction to random. One second. I've got to fix something, I'm sorry. Actually, screw it. And then we're going to set an alarm, set alarm 0 to random 90 plus 90. This is a range, so it's going to be anywhere from 0 to 90. Not many steps. We're going to want to set a variable global E instead of global D. So this is going to be how the enemy shoots. Set alarm 1 to random 90 plus 90, same as, zero, same as alarm 0. And set variable shoot to false. This is important. So, And then set alarm 2 to 30. In alarm 0, first we're going to want to have direction neg subtract 1. So it's going to be relative, so direction will subtract. And we're going to want to repeat that random 360 times. So it could turn in a full direction, it, it could completely turn around, it could not, who knows. And then you're going to want to reset the alarm. The same thing goes for alarm 1, except for this time we're adding, instead of subtracting. In the step events, we're going to want global E to be set to direction, just like always. And we're going to want the image index equal to image number times direction by 360. All that. We are going to want to set up a wall. It's going to have nothing in it. Make sure it's solid. And if there's a collision with the wall, set horizontal and vertical speed. So now we have an enemy that will turn at random moments and then make it look like a real enemy. But now we're going to have a radius. In the step event, it's going to follow the player and the player. We want to make sure that's right. If it collides with the enemy, then if there is enemy at his position... Oh, I guess I can really delete that. I guess I don't need that. But I'll just leave it there, because I'm lazy. You're going to want to start another block with a chance 1 out of 4 perform step towards points player X, oh, player Y, at a random speed, avoiding solid only. Oh, at no speed. My bad. And then if not, step avoid and move to the player X, except this time have set speed to 5, avoid solid only. And set variable shoot to true. And in the player's event, we're going to want to create that um, radius. And we are going to want, when we're done testing it and all that, set it to invisible. But for now, we're going to have it visible so I can show you how it looks. You can have the radius any size, any shape, really. And, um... It really depends on how big it is. It depends on the difficulty of your game, which I think is really nice. Like, it's always going to follow you. And that's what we want. So, depending on how big the radius is, that will be how easy it is for the enemies to spot you. Um, if you shoot at the enemy, it will destroy the enemy. You can really have anything set you want here, but I'm just trying to make this simple and to go by faster. And the bullets, if it collides with the wall, destroy itself, step. We already know this. I pretty much showed you how to do this already. Enemy bullets. Okay. Step event. Now we're... So now see, if you collide with the radius, then they're going to set shoot on. That means they are going to shoot. So if shoot is equal to true, create an object of the enemy bullet at its position. If there is a radius at its position, and no, if there is not, make sure that's checked, uh, radius at its position, 
then set variable shoot to false. That's important. You don't want to have them shooting at nothing all this time. And out of 50, create object sight. Now sight, here's another one of them. We're going to have motion set direction 360. This, this word is kind of like a bullet. Mm-hmm. Um... I'm actually thinking that this should be global E. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like this. And... Oh, this is no, this isn't important. You don't have to have that in. It won't do anything, so forget about that. If you collide... If it collides with the player, then create an enemy bullet relative at the position of enemy. at the object enemy. For all of them. Make sure that you have lots of enemies in your room and the wall and like so, so, so sort of maze how you want it to be set up. And now we'll go play the game. This doesn't have an, an ammo system, an ammo an ammunition reloading. If you want to do that you can just click you can just set oh uh, I don't want to look like a if you want to set up ammunition, then check out my ammo and reloading tutorial. It's pretty simple to understand. So now we're going to move. Shoot these guys. Now if I walk too close to him, he's going to walk into my radius. And oh, now all these people are after me. Oh my god. And pretty soon I'm going to die. I can just tell. Yeah, see? I'm dead. So, now, you might want to set up life for your player. So in the create event, we're going to want to set up health. And alarm zero, set health relative to one because we're going to want to set an alarm 0 to 30, so every second, it'll increase his health. And then reset that alarm. In the step event, if health is larger than 100, then set the health to 100. This limits it so you don't get health over 100. If you collide with the enemy bullets, set health relative to... Um, I set another range here, because I like those. Set a, set a random 0 0.9 plus 1. And so this will have anything from 0, 0.0 to 1. Glide with the wall, set speed to 0. Uh, if you have no more health, then destroy yourselves. Sleep for a couple milliseconds, or a lot of milliseconds, and then restart the game. Simple enough. I think I've pretty much covered en any everything. If you have any more questions, be sure to ask me. You might want to add some... Because right now, you can, it's pretty easy to avoid these enemies. You might want to set it to, like, if the enemy collides with you, you would die or something. Or set, like, landmines, create really anything to make the game more interesting. Because these are just really simple AI. Or enemies. So, be creative. I hope this helps. And, yeah. Be sure to watch some of my other tutorials, comment, rate, all that good stuff. And I hope you like this. Bye.